All right, she's out of here. Man, she looks cool. Hey everybody, welcome back to Star Trek Online, where we're going to play through the entire Discovery uh, storyline and basically get this character ready to do sort of endgame content, the, the first layer of endgame content. So I'm going to walk, I'm going to basically walk through the entire experience of doing that. So anybody who's new to this game or just wants to see me fumble through the game, uh, welcome. And thank you all so much for the continued support on the series, by the way. You guys have been amazing. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you're a fan of Awesome Sauce, feel free to subscribe for your daily dose. We love Awesome Sauce here. Now, guys, one thing we forgot to do in the last episode here, we forgot to purchase some skills. Looks like we have one point. Uh, this is nice and blinky, so we can tell. Uh, we, I forgot to purchase. I don't even think these were here the last time I played. Um, long time ago. So I really would like energy weapon training. Um, what else could we want? I do want to do more damage, right? I mean, this is just going to increase the base damage of direct uh, weapons. Uh, unless I had something that would increase my... Um, oh, that's for torpedoes. I think we're going to focus on energy weapon training. So we're going to get full points into that. Uh, it looks like we need five points into this tier before we can go into the Lieutenant Commander tier, which I think will also unlock at, at Lieutenant Commander, which I believe is at level 10. Uh, oh, we don't have any more points. Okay, let's go to ground. Uh, what do we want to do here? Kit performance expert. Yeah, before I move on, let's just take a look at some of the other options, okay? Um, so we've got hull restoration, uh, which I believe allows you to be healed more on the hull. So every time we, we're, every time we use a heal on our hull, we get more. Uh, this is hull capacity, so it increases our hull by 0.3%, it looks like. Um, and then this is shield restoration, so the similar thing with shields. Increases the amount healed on shield by 0.5%, and this increases uh, the shield capacity, or the amount of shield that we have total by 0.3%. So it looks like these are both 0.3, and then the uh, heal amount is 0.5. All right. And then this is 0.5%, and this is 0.5%. So we got projectile damage and energy weapon training. Uh, let's look at... Uh, ground skills i do want to do something similar where i really just want to uh, go for as much damage as i possibly can i'm going to want survivability too i believe since i'm so bad at ground <laughs> uh, but i think i'm going to start with weapon proficiency and just increase my base damage knocking out boss enemies and whatnot just faster if i can cool all right so now that we've spent those points let's go ahead and go back to our uh, episode log now it just shows up right here, right? So we could just continue that. I just, I'm, I'm. It's such a habit for me, I think, to go to the the episode log, and you can, I think, you can hit J to bring up this journal, uh, and then you can also hit L, I think, to bring up your your log and then switch over. I usually just hit J and then switch over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and hail. We have a situation at the Delta Volanus Cluster. One of our research stations there managed to get a partial distress signal off before it was jammed at the source. I need you to get out there and get eyes on the situation. The Klingons are getting bolder since they acquired cloaking technology. But an attack that far into Federation space is bold, even for them. Find out what's going on and render any assistance they might need at the station, if it still exists. All right, cool. We can do that. I have a mission for you. Mm, let's go ahead and make our way there. Let's see, how far away is it? It's not too far. I mean, it's just on the other side of the sector. And I believe we're a little bit faster now. It still says warp 5. Let's take a look here. Uh, go to the USS Spartan. Oh, we actually have some new armor that we didn't equip at the end of last episode as well. So let's go ahead and equip that. Let's see the difference. If you if you just mouse over it, after a while it'll show up. So we're increasing our kinetic and energy resistance. We also get disruptor damage resistance. And it gives a 5% chance to heal 22 hit points when receiving damage. Interesting. I guess that lasts for five minutes? That's interesting. And then plus 3.8 uh, shield regeneration every four seconds. That's cool. I also want to kind of switch these weapons and we'll take the... 
don't know why I couldn't switch those. Eh, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, does anybody need armor? It looks like... Oh, yeah, nobody on this team has armor. I thought for some reason that we had gotten armor on people. Doesn't look like we have. We can switch out this new phaser. That's great. All right, we made it here. Let's go ahead and begin secrets. Hmm. I'm never going to get old. That's never going to get old. Delta Volana Station is just ahead. We're picking up uh, some damage to the station on sensors. Looks like they've been in a firefight recently. Helm, take us in. Could be Klingons under cloak nearby. All right, let's go to full impulse. Let's go ahead and get this hydrazine gas. Why not? You guys can let me know if you're familiar with STO, if, if these are really worth getting. I don't really know. So uh, sometimes I kind of just skip them just because I, you know, kind of don't care. I'm more interested in, like, uh, flying my ship around. <laughs> I like to have fun. Collecting stuff like Glad that is... Glad you were in the area. Some Klingons just appeared out of nowhere. They can do that now, right? Unbelievable. Uh, anyway, the whole thing was terrifying and strange. I mean, they shot at us. Did some structural damage, knocked some sensor pods out of alignment, and completely ruined my latest experiment. But that's it. They had us, and they just left. Hmm. How can we help? Our tractor beam is offline. Actually, it's a fried little puddle of sadness, but offline sounded better. If you can, could you use your ship's tractor beam to move our sensor pods back into position? I'm sending the coordinates over now. That'd really help us get back to our research here. I mean, these gaseous anomalies won't analyze themselves, am I right? <laughs> right. We're on it, Doctor. Stand by. All right, let's go ahead and repair this station array beta. Now, I think we can actually get in between these two and potentially put a tractor beam on the other one before we're done with this one. Cool. Nice. Look at that. Sensor pod beta is online again. Okay. Sensor pod alpha is back Klingons. online. Klingons are happening. A lot of Klingons. They're coming this way fast. Shields up. Weapons hot. They're going to attack again. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Starfleet command. This is Delta Volana station. Right, let's attack. go and get this guy. See if we can get his shields down before our torpedoes go off. Oh, actually, I didn't even Those fire. So. Ships. There We're we go. Big trouble. I think maybe I should turn the difficulty up. At some point, we need to talk about our weapons power here. I'll kind of uh, run you guys through that. Those of you who play this game probably know more about it than I do. Um, but anybody who's new, like I said in the last episode, I believe I mentioned this anyway, that the higher your... Uh, the higher your weapon power, the more damage you do. So you always want to make sure that your weapon sort of weapon power capacitors are, you know, full. And there's ways to do that, and we'll get a skill that allows us to do that here later on when we're a little bit higher level. I believe at level 10 we'll get, um, when we get a new ship, we can use a new bridge officer. Or we'll, it'll be the same bridge officer, but the ship will allow us to actually have a second tier of engineering skill. I really didn't need to use the torpedo there. Oh, I guess so. Let's see if we can take this bird of prey out here. Nice. Okay, we got one more left. Go ahead and charge our torpedo. High yield. There we go. Oh, we missed. We got the second one. All right. Looks like we need to answer a hail from them. I really like this ship a lot. It's cool looking. Incoming hail at Starbase 1. On screen. This is Kensington. Sounds like the Klingons are making a push in that sector. We're sending some backup your way. Command's still analyzing these attacks, trying to figure out what the enemy is up to there. In the meantime, I need you to hold that system and protect the station. Stay sharp out there, and good hunting. You got it, Admiral. I won't read those verbatim sometimes, guys. I'll, I'll improvise just a little bit. I like to have a little fun with it. Sometimes, um, maybe my lines won't be quite as good as what they have naturally. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted that on that guy. Oh, good, it didn't actually trigger, so now we can get this off on this dude. Go through his shields a little bit quicker. I don't really use that skill much. Uh, at least I don't remember using that skill much on uh, any of my builds that I ever played before. We're going to go ahead and reinforce shields a little bit. 
Oh, right before the cutscene. Oh, baby, there's Discovery. Hell yeah. So cool, man. I don't know if you guys are a fan of uh, Star Trek Discovery, this show. Um, I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I'm a pretty big Star Trek fan, so I've been, I've been liking Discovery a lot. Heard you could use some help. The target has arrived. All six, fire to disable. Let's see if we can get these shields down here. Ooh, man, that cruiser. I mean, we've already done a considerable amount of damage to it. Oh, we're getting hammered here. I'm not doing too bad, though. I think these uh, early missions are still pretty easy. Shields buckling. Losing main power. We could use an assist here. Don't worry, Discovery. We've got your back. All right, that bird of prey is down. Got another one over here. Might as well go reinforce shields. Give it some time to cool down. I don't think Discovery's having any problems at all. Said his shields are buckling, but look at that. They're they're fine. No problems. Alright, go ahead and charge our torpedoes. Get those shields down. Ah, too late on that one. Let's see if we can spin around with emergency maneuvers or evasive maneuvers, I think it's called. Didn't even need to fire those torpedoes. Alright, looks like we're gonna beam over to the Glen. There'll be time for formalities later. Right now, we've got a problem. Several, actually. The Klingons beamed multiple boarding parties over during the fight. We're a research vessel. Our security forces are getting overwhelmed. If you could send some people over to help, we'd be much obliged. We're on our way, Captain. Vamrick's out. Captain, the Glen needs our help repelling boarders. Are you ready to beam over? I am ready. Let's go. All right, taking our standard team. Looks good. Tamav, Ian Kwan, Caroline Fletcher, Caroline Fletcher, and Evelyn Savea. Let's make this happen, dudes. All right, here we go. Oh. We've got our little... um. I don't know if I'll be healing much. I should probably. I need to set up hotkeys a little better. Let's go ahead and talk Thanks to the security officer. The captain still has control of the ship. She's waiting for you on the bridge. Unfortunately, the Klingons have several boarding parties between you and the bridge, and they're not taking prisoners. Understood. Stay safe. All right, let's go ahead and activate our damage buff. So it looks like it's active for about... Actually, I can't tell how long it's active for, or if that's the cooldown. I feel like it, that's the cooldown. Um, oh, here it is. It's active for three more seconds, I guess, so it's already gone. That's fine. Nice. More Klingons to shoot. Come here, buddy. I guess we could try this Batleth. Charge into battle. Rawr! <laughs> uh, I don't know that auto attack is very good for... We have to switch targets to get it to stop. Oh, it still hasn't stopped. Uh, this could be problematic. I guess we could have just tapped the, the key again. It would have stopped. Okay, it looks like we have to go over here. Take this turbo lift to the bridge. More Klingons. Come on, boys. Let's get our damage buff reactivated. Okay. I was a little late on that damage buff, wasn't I? You made it. Good. We have a lot of work to do here. The Klingons have done extensive damage, especially to our power systems. Mr. Strahl is doing what he can to get main power back online. Care to give him a hand? Of course, Captain. This is Deb Underwood. That's the captain's name, right? Yeah. Like the captain said, main power's offline. We're sitting ducks without it, and the Klingons know it. Let's get to work before House Mokai turns us all into trophies. Or lunch. All right, what do you need us to do? I'll do the heavy lifting. What I need you to do is to bring engineering control to a bridge console. 
divert the power flow, and enter the new power-up sequence I'm putting together. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Let's get to work. Looks like we've got to run over here. Transfer control to the console. Engineering control is transferred. Go to the next console to divert the power flow. Diverting power flow. Diverting power, power flow, flow I. is diverted. Input the new power-up sequence next. Inputting new power-up sequence I. Yes, I was in the Navy. Nice work. Main power is back online. All right, let's go ahead and speak nice to Nice work. We're not out of the woods yet, though. Our next stop's the engineering lab. I need to get our shields back online and secure some classified data down there. Believe me, we don't want the Klingons getting their hands on it. Right. Let's get to the engineering lab. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, oh, it's right here. Take the turbo lift. Nice. All right, let's charge up in here. Get our. Oh, that's a bummer that it put me in combat when I did that. Oh, hi, guys. Klingons. We're going to get some flanking fire from the right. Maybe we should reposition so that doesn't happen. There we go. Nice grenade. All right. Looks like we're in the clear. What's this over here? Let's go check it out. Some kind of material, I think. I don't know if these are just crafting materials. Oh, by the way, I'm just using the keyboard to do that. It's a little easier than tapping on these. All right, what do we got up here? Looks like a bunch more Klingons potentially from just the left. Let's go ahead and activate our damage buff. All right, cool. Oh, looks like we gotta go through here. Oh, hey, Klingon's waiting for us. How you guys doing? Let's see if we can get a grenade out here. Good thing there's not friendly fire. <laughs> Cause that would have been bad. Nice. You know, maybe I should give this battle to one of my um, one of my officers. See if we can do that. Also, oh yeah, we can just do it before we talk to Straw real quick. I was thinking the uh, event was going to activate. I don't really care about having two weapons right now. Yeah, let's, uh, who should we give this to? I don't know that I, that it matters, or if I have really any idea who I should give it to. Let's, let's give it to our engineer. See what they can make of that thing. Cool. All right, let's talk to Stroll. Not sure how she pulled it off, but that Klingon put a security field up between us. Jaula. She's full of surprises. Jaula. The Jaula? Mm-hmm. This day just keeps getting worse. Look, I need to drop that security field. She's trying to steal that data I told you about on the bridge. We can't let that happen. Watch my back in case any more Klingons pay us a visit. You got it. I got your back. Why would I ever tell anyone to work fast? I just... I wouldn't. Most impressive Starfleet. This tech will win the war. This will bring supremacy to my house. And... The Empire. All right. Wait, what? Oh, we got some more. She blocked access. I can't bring down the security field. Go ahead and activate my damage buff, which I keep forgetting about. More coming or is she coming? What are we doing here? Check on Strahl. Oh, I need to talk to him. Okay. Damn, she's good. Lock me completely out of the security system. I can't get the field down. Fine. She's not the only clever one in the room. Watch my back. I've got an idea. Just need a little more time. All right, we'll get you that time, bud. Grenade out. Nice, nice. No problem. Wait, she's dropping the field? 
Oh, Look she? out! Here okay. she comes! All right, let's do this. Shields online. They can't beam out now. All right. Uh... All right, we need to kill this guy. I need this guy out of my face. Come on, Jula. Oh, you can't knock her down. That's a bummer. Let's see if we can grenade her. Oh, she's going to move after we... Oh, freaking A. That's not a very big radius on that grenade. Come on, guys. Damage buff is off. Like 13 seconds. All right. She's out of here. Man, she looks cool. Right, you will run. I gotta say, I you know, the more I see these new Klingons, the more of a fan I am. Like when I first saw their new redesign when I watched Discovery, I really didn't like it at all. Looks like the Klingons aren't fond of our house guest. Shame, really. It's nice once you get to know it. Ah, well, I have good news and bad news. All right, well, why don't we start with the good news? The good news is I managed to corrupt a number of critical data files before she stole them. There's only two people in the galaxy who can figure out that mess now, and neither of them are Klingons. And the bad news? The bad news? Well, there's plenty of uncorrupted data in there that the Klingons shouldn't have. It was classified for very important reasons. We need to stop her. Of course. If half of what they say about Jula is true... Oh, believe me, it is. Great. To Kuvma's sister, one of the deadliest members of House Mokai. Here. Wonderful. Okay, okay, they must be headed to the shuttle bay. I brought the shields back online so they can't beam out. If they're gonna leave, they're gonna have to get creative. Let's head down there before Jula gets any more bright ideas. What the hell was that thing that, anyway? Uh, you should probably make peace with the words, it's classified, when it comes to what you just saw. All right. Seriously, don't worry about it. Believe me, we have bigger problems here, starting with Jaula. We need to stop her. I agree. Let's do it. I wish there was a dodge hotkey so I didn't have to double tap the, the keyboard. I don't like having to do that. I like when you can basically hit a key like shift. Um, like if sprint wasn't a thing, I really wish sprint wasn't a thing in this game. I wish you had to toggle walk. And so basically like you auto sprinted everywhere unless you basically, you know, held down control or alt or something to make sure that it forced you to walk. Um, so that basically if I just was holding down shift and the direction I wanted to roll, it would roll instead of having to double tap. I'm sure a lot of people like double tap better. I just, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I always feel like I miss it sometimes, you know, whereas like if I have, uh, you know, holding down shift and then uh, double, you know, the right or left arrow or whatever in the same direction at the same time. Because then I don't have to like take my, I don't know. I don't know why it feels so weird when I do it that way. I'm sure for a lot of you, it's just natural. Not for me. <laughs> Alright, what do we... Oh, more Klingons. Alright, here. Let's go ahead and get some damage buff. Go ahead and crouch. Increase our dodge a little bit. Or is it defense? Is that what it is? I play a lot of Kenshi, so, you know... When you play a martial artist, you got dodge. <laughs> Do you hear that? Uh, yeah. Engineering, emergency transport of the specimen to containment. That was uh, very helpful. Thank you. I appreciate that. You okay? Come on, let's go. 
We're almost there. We really need to stop Jula. After that, we are definitely going to have to have a conversation about that creature, Doctor. Oh, that'll be exciting. Let me add that to my calendar. Right after we stop the insane Klingon with our top secret data. Less monster, more Klingon, okay? Now let's go. Something tells me that doctor needs a hug, dude. I'm willing to hug that doctor. We're almost to the shuttle bay. Keep moving. All right, there we go. Yeah, let's go ahead and pop this. Get some grenades out. Oh, he's already dead by the time I even got my grenade out. Did they just jack our shuttle? That's kind of rude. Oh, there's Klingons right here, right behind me. Gotta get rid of these guys. We don't get flanked. Alright, now that we've dealt with them, we can get these guys. Oh, that's weird. There's like a sound zone where there's no sound. It's like right there. Where is it? Right there? Like there's no sound at all, dudes. <laughs> that's so weird. It's like it's switching um, environmental sounds, you know? Because, like, when you're in different rooms, there's, like, um, it modifies the sound that it's making. And maybe that's, like, I don't know. Any interesting. Very interesting. All right, what do we got to do? Speak to Stroll. She, she stole one of our shuttles. She bypassed deck security, got emergency evacuation clearance, and hotwired one of our shuttles. Unbelievable. If she wasn't trying to kill all of us, I'd be impressed. All right, well, what are our options? Well, that's a short-range craft. There must be a Klingon ship out there waiting for her. We might get out of this yet. Now, head back to your ship. See if you can find where she went. We'll do the same here. All right, let's do it. Beam out. Heads up. Klingon reinforcements are warping in. Protect yourself and the station. But we really need to find out where that shuttle carrying the stolen data went. There's a good chance it's on a cloaked ship nearby. What exactly is the data? Hate to play the that's classified card here. But you know the drill. Sorry. Take it up with Admiral Kensington if we make it through this. For now, let's focus on those Klingons out there trying to kill us, okay? Right. Tactical, go to red alert. All right, where are these guys? Fend off the Klingon attack. There they are. He's down. Whoa, was that a quantum torpedo? Whatever it was, it looked pretty cool. Nice. These birds of prey look pretty cool, too, these Discovery birds of prey. I think the Burrell is definitely just sort of my favorite of all time. I did like the D4 also from uh, Star Trek II. Well, the, the one from the new Kelvin timeline, right? Let's see if we can get some torpedoes out on this dude. Boom. Oh, yeah, you're done. That Discovery looks cool. I mean, it's not my favorite ship. Like, I don't really like the design, but, like, I think because it's such a cool ship, it's so unique. Like, especially in the story. I shouldn't even have wasted those torpedoes. Is there one more bird of prey? No, I think we're good. Get ready to be happy. I think I know how to find where Ja'ula went. Explain. Quickly. If the shuttle's in range, I can hack into its command matrix and send a self-destruct command. That'll make a big enough boom to reveal the location of the ship she landed on, cloaked or not. All right, brilliant. What's the catch? Yeah, about that. 
If the shuttle's in a ship, it'll be tough to get a signal through the shields, the jamming, and the cloak. Tough, but not impossible. Get me close enough. I'll make it happen. We just need to start sifting through this big haystack for one angry little needle. Leave that to us. You protect the station. Understood. Good hunting. Oh, battle cruisers. I love these phasers, man. I really do want to keep these phasers. If anybody knows if there's like a way to, like missions or something later on to get these from, or if I'm going to have to do it with um, upgrading them. Oh, I didn't, get the sh I didn't get the torpedoes off at the right angle. I wanted to get them in through the shield there. Oh, I can't wait until our, our sh ship is faster. I mean, granted, it's because I've got all my power into weapons, but right now I definitely want that. Don't really need it. I just want to kill stuff as fast as we can. And, like, I mean, even with our power set like that, our weapons are really, like, our capacitor is really just getting drained. And we're not even using any skills, you know? All right, let's go ahead and charge this torpedo. Boom. There she is. There she is. Not so wounded as we were led to believe. Strahl's plan worked, but Jaula's ship was able to go to warp before we could disable it. <laughs> so I noticed. There's still hope. The explosion did a lot of internal damage to that ship. She's leaving a trail we can follow. So... We're going to pursue Jaula and clean up our mess. Thanks for all your help here today. If we pull this off, it could make a big difference in the war effort. For all of us. No problem, Commander. Captain, excuse me. Oh my god, I'll probably get court-martialed. Good luck, Captain. Spartan out. Alright, let's go ahead and depart the system. And... Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and hail command. I'm not thrilled with the Klingons getting away with some of our cutting-edge research, but Stroll's report indicates they won't be able to do much with it for quite some time, if ever. Hopefully the Glen will be able to track down Ju'ula and recover the data before they return to Klingon space. It should go without saying that what you witnessed at Delta Volonis is classified at the highest level. The Klingons know too much as it is. Good work out there. Kensington out. Okay, it looks like we got some energy dampening armor mark two green, and we got another shield for our ship, which is better than what we're using currently. It's not a ton better, but it is it is better, and the regen is higher too, so that's good. Oh, it also reduces disruptor damage by twenty percent. That's awesome to the shields anyway. Cool. I have a mission for you. Let's go ahead and equip those. Uh, who needs some armor? I'm thinking everybody does. We're gonna trickle it down though. There we go. It's better to trickle it down than to bubble it up, boys. Uh, and anything else? I think we need to put that new shield on our ship, right? Okay. Well, we need a new warp core. I imagine we'll get that here pretty soon, one of these missions at some point. All right. Let's take a look here at our episodes. Looks like the next episode we need to do is downfall. We need to defend Starbase 1 from Klingon attacks. I'm assuming we're going to deal with Ju'ula's ship at that point as well. And guys, we're going to do that in the next episode. So stay tuned and thank you all so much for watching. I had a ton of fun with you dudes today. And you know what? If you guys had as much fun as I did, let me know by crushing that like button. And thank you again for all the support. It means the world to me. And as always, guys, I can't wait to see you in the next episode for some more gaming shenanigans. I love ya!